Hello and welcome to Scotch Whiskey Auctions vlog for our upcoming auction. Big Peachy back once again to tell you all about the great whiskies that we have in this auction. The ones behind me are some of our favourites, some of the more interesting jams that we have. But it is once again another cracking auction. So once I, I do encourage you, as always, get in, have a look around, really get into some of the, the nitty gritty and, and some of the, the ones that may be a wee bit more esoteric, a bit harder to find. There are some wonderful whiskies in this auction. The first thing I'm going to present to you today is a picture of the rather good film The World's Fastest Indian starring uh, Anthony Hopkins. Now the reason we have this is because as you may know there is a man out there in the vlogosphere, the world of whiskey, uh, a flat capped whiskey terrorist if you like by the name of Ralphie. And Ralphie uh, as well as providing some of the most informative online vlogs or not just whiskey, but many other spirits as well. Ralphie is, obviously, um, is also a massive enthusiast of motorcycles. And the, next year, Ralphie is going to be going to the salt flats of Utah to try and break some world records. Six world records, in fact. Now, he's put some lots into the auction. You might have seen he recently had an exhibition of art uh, in Glasgow in, in Verity. Uh, this is all to raise money so that Ralphie can try and go and break those six world records. Mm -hmm. So we're just putting that out there. You might want to have a look at them. Some of them have been signed with uh, some letters from Ralphie. There's some really interesting lots um, which will help raise money to send that man hurtling across the salt flats of America on the back of a motorcycle. The, the image is frankly boggling my mind a little bit but we want to send them there we hope you want to send them there uh, and so yeah if you get involved in that frankly it's a wonderful idea next up we have something a bit more uh, that we would normally bring to you uh, other than dvds it's a bottle of bowmore 40 year old this one has been receiving the reviews and the kind of accolades and adulation that are reserved for very few whiskies uh, in the world an absolutely wonderful uh, crystal bottle here with um, its big, almost tombstone-like box. Quite an impressive, uh, oppressive kind of box. And very interestingly, we have, well, the padlock goes in the front, but this is here, I'm going to show you the key here, to symbolise what is also available inside here is the certificate. Now the certificate allows you to go to Bowmore to taste it, so you don't even have to open this bottle. You can go and try it. And then once you do, you're most likely going to go, oh, that's the greatest whiskey I've ever drunk. And then you can open the whiskey and drink it. Fantastic lot for one of, I mean, Bowmore, older Bowmores in the 50s and 60s, highly, highly thought of after, after drafts, highly thought of that incredible tropical fruit, but with added weight. It's fantastic stuff. And you would get the chance to try this and uh, also go to Bowmore and be treated, I'm sure, very well indeed. Next up, we have uh, another distillery where they treat you very well. A, a friend, a, a great love of, of myself and for everyone here at Scotch Whiskey Auction, it's Glen Farkless. And this is a, a bottle that was distilled in 1954. And on the back it says it was bottled in the year 2000 because they're Glen Farkless. Why do they need to put such crass things as age statements? They'll just tell you when they distilled it, when they bottled it, and let you do the maths yourself. A wonderful whiskey from that consistently fantastic producer. Uh, of uh, great trans. Next up, something a little, a little bit different. Uh, this is a bottle of Holtz Buff label. Um, I like saying the words Holtz Buff label. Uh, but also, it's a really interesting whiskey because while there's no information as to ABV or bottle size, there is an Italian tax seal. And what this is, as you can see, and you'll be able to see in closer detail on the pictures when you hobby your cursor over the images on the site, you can get to see in close up. You'll get to see there's a wee metal tax seal just been tied on with string. This was the old style. You might have seen these on the bottles we have, there's wee paper seals that go over the top. This was the old style that the Italians used to use. And they stopped using this in 1959. So this puts this bottle somewhere before 1959. Um, so this is a great chance to try whiskey, uh, a style of which you will never, well, very rarely have had the chance to try before. And quite excitingly, this is a guaranteed fully aged in sherry casks. So even back in the 1950s, they were pushing the idea of great sherry whiskies. So fabulous whiskey there. Next up, this next whiskey comes with another exciting little accoutrement. Uh, and this time it is a wonderful little black brass uh, kind of credit card. And this is from Glenfiddich for their ultimate. So this is the first release and this is bottle number 346. And this is just the kind of thing you can have in your wallet and accidentally take out and go, huh, by the way, didn't you know I owned a, an ultimate from Glenfiddich? A wonderful little bit of uh, just to get your 
oh, juice is going. But the actual bottle itself, um, that wasn't an exaggeration, by the way. This is an incredibly solid heavyweight decanter uh, of crystal with a fantastic whiskey inside it, 38 years old, from the distillery that, frankly, started the whole idea of single malts, pushed it, really brought it to where the market is today. A chance to try something that was originally only available in China. Um, it's a fantastic bottle with the literally heavyweight credentials. Next up, in terms of heavyweights at the moment, uh, in terms of how auctions are doing, is Kurazawa. We love Kurazawa, the fantastic uh, aged sherry whiskies, and this one is a little bit different because it's from that no range, and it's reaching a, a very fantastic demon. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce, but this is a very exciting demon because this was a woman who was transformed into a demon to uh, avenge her unfaithful husband. So quite a frightening picture on it. But the whiskey is only 13 years old, so not as old as some of the other ones that are available in this auction. But this one was aged in Japanese wine casks. Uh, Japan is capable of producing very great spirit, as we know. But also some very, very good wines. And uh, the wines that are available are things like Merlot. And this is a Cabernet Merlot cask that this was aged in. Now, we might have somebody coming in, so we're going to pause very briefly, and then we're going to get back to this. Nope, that person's not coming through the door. So what we're going to do is carry on with the vlog. This is exciting. We do this in one take. It's a real thing. We just get it on, get it done, and we embrace the reactions to things or something like that. Next up, we have two bottles. They're two different lots from the same distillery, and this is Rosebank. Rosebank is one of those distilleries that has been... It was closed um, mainly due to its proximity to Falkirk rather than Edinburgh. Sort of a crass way of looking at it. But uh, when they were closing down distilleries, they decided that Falkirk maybe didn't have the same tourist draw, and they closed it, which is a shame because it can produce fantastic whiskey. And we have one here that's 15 years old and one that is 20. And what's quite exciting about these uh, uh, bottlings, which were from Zenith in, in Italy, is one is 50%, uh, the 15 year old, there, and the 20 year old comes in at a frankly eye watering 57 for a 20 year old, which is great. And that means it's 100 proof. It means you could use this to ignite gunpowder, should you choose to. I would choose to drink it. But, uh, you know, once you've bought it, it's entirely up to you what you do with it. So, two great bottles from a lost distillery that keeps floating around. There's always these rumours that they're going to bring it back and someone's going to bring it. So far, they haven't chance to taste something that, again, it's a style that has gone away a wee bit. A chance to try something a bit different. Last, but by no means least, uh, is this Pride of Strathspey. And again, it wouldn't be a, a big peachy vlog or Scotch whisky auction without wonderful whiskies from our good friends up at Gordon McPhail. And this one is a Pride of Strathspey, so they're not saying exactly which distillery it came from, but they are saying exactly when it was distilled, which was 1938. So this whisky sat in casks for 50 years before it was bottled. So before the Second World War began, this whisky was distilled. It slumbered through the Second World War, slumbered through many other wars, the Korean Wars, the Vietnam Wars, Quite, feeling quite aggressive with wars today. And it was eventually bottled uh, in this lovely little decanter and a chance to try something again. This is the great thing about these old whiskies. They let you, you're dealing with history. Even if you're, you're just drinking a 10 year old, that was something that was distilled 10 years before it came to your, your hand. And a lot of these bottles have been then weighted again. So you're, you're not, you're getting to investigate something that has a tangible connection to the past, which is not something we often get to do, especially in today's society where everything's gone really, really quickly. These whiskies give you a connection to a bygone era, which is something maybe a wee bit airy fairy, artsy fartsy to think about while you're having a jam, but what else are you gonna do when you're having a jam? Garrelous jams, conversation, get the mind going. This is what is available, as well as many, many other fantastic jams. We have a great selection of minis in this auction. I've got to remember that before we get finished. We've got White Horse from 1958 through to 1960. We have Macallans that were distilled in the 1950s. Of course we're gonna have Macallans in Scotch whiskey auctions. We always have great Macallans. So these are all available in the auction. So ladies and gentlemen, when the auction goes live tomorrow, get in, have a look around, and as always, Scotch Whiskey Auctions, don't lose your bottle.